going to install Git into our Mac machine. Before proceeding with the installation, we would like to install additional software on our system. And this software is going to help us throughout the course with the installations of other tools that we will be required. So first of all, let's go ahead and open our browser. And we need to navigate to our Google. Right? So once we're here, let's go ahead and type install home brew. All right. So homebrew is a software that is going to help us with the installation of other tools. Go ahead, navigate to this application. So from here, we are going to see install brew, right? And what we will need to do, we'll need to copy this line. It's very easy. Just go ahead and click on this icon right here. If you copy it, you're going to get a green line. So once you copy it, let's go ahead guys and open our terminal to find our terminal go ahead and select the search on the top of your screen and type terminal right so this window will show up for you it might be in the dark color for me it's a one in the white color if you would like to increase the font of it go ahead and hold the command and just use your plus sign From here, the very first step, what uh, we would like to do, we want to type CD space tilde and go ahead and hit, hit enter. So this command ensures that currently we are in the home directory. And also, please, students, don't worry about any of these commands. We are going to teach you them in our Git classes. So after we type CD space tilde and hit enter, so now what we would like to do, let's go ahead and paste the command that we just copied earlier. So go ahead and click paste. So after command has been pasted, go ahead and hit enter. So now we are getting a message where we should enter the password. So here we need to enter a password of our computer. So whenever we will be typing it, We are not going to see it, but it it types in the background. So the moment you finish typing your password, please go ahead and hit enter. So if the password was entered correctly, we are going to see all of these messages. And the end messages right now tells us press return enter to continue or any other key to abort. Okay, so what we're we going to have, go ahead and go ahead and let's click return. installation might take some time for some of you maybe it will be a little bit faster so depending really depending on your system All right, so I fast forwarded the video. My installation is almost done, except what we need to do, we need to run this next steps, right? So in here, my brew, my, my terminal tells me that I have to run these three commands in my terminal to add home, home brew to my path, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy these commands. All right, so after we run these three commands, let's go ahead and type brew space 
hyphen hyphen version right so if your brew installation was successful we are going to see a version of our homebrew So now the easy part comes. So now after our brew is installed, we can easily tell our brew to install Git into our system. So what do we have to do? Right now I'm going to type a command, brew install Git and hit enter. All right, so I believe our Git has been installed. To check that we properly and correctly install Git, let's go ahead and type command git space hyphen hyphen version and hit enter. All right, so once we get the message git version and at different times your, your version will show at different numbers, it's totally fine. But as long as you see a version number, it means you are successfully installed it. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you next time.